Welcome back. I hope you're ready for part five because this is what we've been building up towards and this is where it gets really exciting. This is your high-end profit funnel. This is where it starts to get kind of crazy and uh, I want you to hold on for a wild ride because if you are just starting out with selling services right now, this is a picture of where you can go with this business model in just a matter of a few weeks or months. It does not have to take a long time. High-end coaching. If you can be a consultant, then you can be a coach and charge handsomely for your time. Um, coaching is a wonderful service to provide. You can deliver extraordinary value. If you really know what you're doing, um, then this is a, a real blessing that you can give to other people. And here is a little hint. If you don't feel like you can be a coach yourself, then just set up this marketing funnel for someone else and let them do the coaching. This is what I've done personally. Um, I've had partners do this as well because most people who are coaches are broke and they don't know how to market their services. So if you figure this out, if you figure out how to market high-end services, then, geez, you've just uh, hit upon a gold mine because you don't have to do the work. You just have to deliver the clients. Now, something else that you can do here is uh, you can record your consulting or your coaching sessions, obviously, um, with, with permission, and get positive feedback, i.e. testimonials from your clients. Um, and you can use those recordings as high-end products. We'll talk about that again in a moment. Um, but you can send out an offer anytime you want to to your list offering offering coaching it's something where you have zero product uh, development costs there's zero upfront cost if no one takes you up on your offer what have you lost uh, I think that's what holds a lot of people back is the fear that no one wants what they're selling but with this there's no risk if no one wants your coaching it doesn't matter because you didn't spend any money up front um, now, I'll give you a little tip here in terms of time management because when you do do coaching and consulting to a certain extent, you're simply selling your time for money, which a lot of entrepreneurs don't like to do. But if you can do this um, in kind of a small group situation where it's small enough of a group that they feel like they're really getting personal attention, but it's large enough um, where you've got a bunch of people paying you a lot of money, then that's where... I find the sweet spot is in terms of time management. Um, you're giving people high quality service, a lot of personal attention, and a lot of people are paying you for your time. Um, so it's a, a good way to manage your time in that respect. Now, high-end services, this is where you become the recognized go-to person in your market for your service, and you get to charge premium fees. Um, I had a client of mine who was who's a designer and was frustrated that in the internet marketing niche seems like everyone is offering e-covers for $27 or $47 mini sites for $97 but he's got a lot of training he's a really talented guy he doesn't want to um, offer such cheap services and I told him that the last time I paid someone for graphic design I paid out a cool thousand dollars for uh, for just one project and that's because I went to the top person in the niche I want to work with the go-to guy um, and the difference between the go-to guy and the masses is astronomical it's the difference between a ninety seven dollar mini site and a thousand dollar mini site you can literally charge ten times the average in your market and still get business because you're the go-to person also, when you have a well-established profit funnel, when you've got leads coming in constantly and offers going out all the time, then you can afford to choose to work with only the best of the best. You can be very picky in who you work with, um, and being picky in who you work with actually leads to more and more uh, success and better and better clients because uh, higher-end clients 
have friends who are also very successful, and they talk about their service providers. So provide good service to one top-notch person, and you'll have others knocking on your door. That is what happened. What happened to me, I started working with top people in the IM field, and they just started talking to their friends. So you can't um, underestimate how important that is to really target the right people. And when you have this well-established profit funnel, when you have enough money coming in constantly, then you can afford to really be picky. This is what I was really talking about when I said it gets nuts. High and leverage. I am not sure I've seen anyone else teaching this. Uh, it's just something that I figured out on my own. And um, if you figure this out and you start using it, um, please send me a testimonial because I think that some people are just going to run with this and make an absolute killing. If you offer super high-end services, it gives you a point of leverage that can lead to even greater opportunity. Because when you're super high-end, when there's a high price ticket uh, associated with working with you, that is a, a pain point for your clients. It's not like they want to pay thousands of dollars for a service. They're just willing to do it because you're the best, you're the go-to person. Um, now, that you can turn that into a leverage point by saying, I'll work for less than my normal fee or I'll work for free if you do something for me. Now, that could be any number of things. You could say, I will work for you for half my fee or for no fee at all if you'll do a mailing for me, do a mailing to your list of 100,000 people, or if you will give me a cut of the action, if you'll make me a partner on a project, or if you'll refer two or three or four or five clients. Um, you know, you can use this leverage in any way that you want, um, I personally have, have used several of these things. Principally, I've used um, the high cost associated with working with me as a copywriter to actually uh, take a significant stake in a major business. And um, I don't usually charge $10,000 to write a single sales page, but on more than one occasion I've been paid that much to write copy Thanks to this kind of leverage where I've said, you know, don't pay me anything up front. I will simply take a, a piece of the business, and that way I get paid on results as well, which uh, appeals to the people I'm working with. And I can get paid far more than I would normally charge because I'm willing to, to take that risk and exploit the leverage that comes when you offer super high-end services. So I have taken you full circle here. Um, our first video was about getting your first clients. I got my first clients approximately one year ago, and then we went through an intermediate stage where people are paying you decently for your services. And this is uh, the other end of the spectrum, where one year, um, one year later, I'm getting paid really really well to offer a whole range of services and I'm not sure I did anything so special um, I don't really think I've left anything out these are the main ideas that have helped me make the transition from never having made money online to offering services for a fee to offering really super high-end services uh, that make me a full-time income so uh, you know, I, I don't want this to be a mystery at all. You can go through this same process and um, start earning multiple streams of income via services. And, um, you know, I think I may have a few more ideas that I would like to share with you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put together a bonus video that builds on some of the things we've already talked about.